second division league. And uh, unfortunately, he couldn't stay with us for the remainder of the season, and then he went back to uh, other other destinations. But he had a great professional career, and uh, I'm thrilled to be able to see him uh, thrive in 3x3. I've got a chance to call many of his games before. I enjoy watching him play. Ochai, the Olympian, tries to set up the pass, but didn't work out that particular possession. So the Aussies will take over the boys from down under. Came out on top after the qualifying draw. Looked great. We, this is one of the teams that we were really impressed with. Probably the most impressive team uh, in terms of, you know, their all-around depth and talent. Right. Hickey put on a show in the qualifying draw. Blanchfield was incredible. O'Donnell was impressive. Was impressive as well. And, and Davey had his moments too. So the Australian men Silver medalist a year ago, uh -oh, O'Donnell, had a little hiccup there. He blew the bunny, but Blanchfield is there to clean up the mess. Australia draw first blood. Hickey gets in there and pokes it away. If uh, Japan wants to have any chance to make Australia doubt, they're going to have to move that ball and collaborate more. If they want to play one-on-one -on -one game, it's going to be a tough matchup. Suoka, who start the possession, is poked away. So Ryoma Saito also playing one of the guard positions for this Japanese team. He will start the possession. The worm hands it off. Yasuoka makes his move. That stroke was broke. Battle for the uh, loose ball. And I believe O'Donnell's going to get whistled there. That'll be number two on Australia. Kennedy comes around, gets it back. Out to the worm. The worm can't drill at that time. Todd Blanchfield. Only returning player from last year's silver medal winning squad for Australia. His team enjoying the two point advantage at the moment. Offensive foul call. Two officials in this one Eddie Liu and Guy Kim. And Hickey on the sideline talking to his teammates, saying, Active hands. Keep the hands active. And you're right against Japan. Better make sure you do. Uh oh. Hey, give me some of that. He threw that down like a tantrum. And everything was initiated by the fake hand handball. Handball. And right away, the answer. You know what the identity with Japan is. Oh, Hickey is bouncing. So look at Hickey explode into the rim. He put his back into that. Three, two. Oh, Hickey. He's a problem. He needs to watch out on that, on that first step, though. Because it looks like he could be called for travel before, before he starts to play. But then, once he got the dribble set, then... He's a menace. He's shifty, man. The hesitations, the change of pace. You love his full work. Oh, yeah. Well, he's he's athletic. He's, he's shifty. It's hard to stay in front of him. He can score through contact. And he's got the green light. Thomas Kennedy's seen enough of him. <laughs> he's seen enough. Davey does get it up. No, he didn't. Shot clock violation. So didn't get it up in time. TK. To start things off for the Japanese. Ochai from the elbow. Kennedy's down. Yasuoka will find him. Up fake. Two ball corner. And Davey is whistled for the foul that'll put Thomas Kennedy on the line. The main thing about Thomas, Kyle, he can shoot it up and he's tall. The main thing also, he has great footwork and he can trigger very fast. He got quick trigger. 
He has great footwork to relocate and, uh, and shift his body sideways to keep his feet behind the, the two-point land. Well, knock down the first of two. Again, foul beyond that two-point arc. So a couple of free throws for him. good as well. Japan in front by one here in the early going. Just over two minutes in to this Pool C action. Fourth game of the day from here at OCBC Square. Yasuoka cannot stroke the two. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice of 3x3, rocking with you. Not alone, Angelo Sagarakis, the czar, alongside. Time flies when you're having fun. We've been, <laughs> we've been having a lot of fun. Fourth day already. Can I you believe know, it? I, it's hard to believe. But it is day four, the last day of pool play. As the final half of our quarterfinal bracket will be set at the end of business today. Here's Hickey setting up O'Donnell. O'Donnell working on Kennedy O'Donnell with all the spins. How about that? He like DJ Labs. 5-4, two ball, count those. Kennedy puts Japan up one. Hickey cannot respond. At the range, but no service. And two is missed. 6-5, it'll stay. Blanchfield setting up O'Donnell, the big fella. Uh -oh. Getting the Wilson poked away. Yes, sir. Time for a TV timeout. 6.40 to play. Been a good one so far. And what I like about Team Japan is the fact that they're not looking at Australia like a, a matchup they're not supposed or capable of winning. They're looking at it like, all right, we got our weapons. We're going to try to utilize those weapons to put you on your heels and put pressure on you. Thomas Kennedy, obviously a big factor with his outside touch. But Japan overall, defensively, manages to keep the game outside the paint for now. Can they sustain it is the question. Well, 6.35 and counting left. The story of this game is still being written as we speak. Whistle against Australia that evens the fouls. Four piece. Hickey will head to the bench. Saito to the worm. Chai. Oh. No. Chai is, is a top level passer. And that would have been on the money. I think he just miscommunicated with his teammate there. He anticipated his teammate's movement. That's, that's what set him up for failure here. Blanchfield with a push. <laughs> Don't hate, mate. Long ball. That one halfway down and came out. But Blanchfield, we've been talking, we've been heaping praise on all of his teammates. Blanchfield. He might be the go-to guy. He's got Kennedy defending him now. So Hickey will try to exploit his matchup. Drops it off to Davey. Davey, in this case, having too much muscle is bad. When he's at the beach, it's all good. On the layup attempt, not. Seven six. Hickey. Craig oh, drops pass. it off to Davy. What a dish. The pocket pass from Hickey. And that's the key for Australia and for Japan. Australia need to capitalize on those kind of situations. It's so complicated for Japan to withstand the impact on, this, on this, um, the screens that are set by the big bodies of Australia. Can they push it out?
can they switch properly? And of course, Australia. They can capitalize on that and build a big lead. Not trying to, shouldn't be trying to get pretty being down two and uh, giving momentum yeah, to yeah. Australia. And Kennedy is just a thief, man. We just witnessed a robbery. There's another thief, Hickey. He hits the deck hard. But he's attacking the rim with reckless abandon. O'Donnell has the hardest time to stay away from uh, Thomas Kennedy's hands. He's just getting ripped time after time. Keep the ball up, because Thomas is just too quick for you. And he's going to stay as close as he can as this matchup requires him to do it. So how do you adjust? Well, it's he's twice the age, literally, of O'Donnell. He's 36, <laughs> O'Donnell's 18. He's been around the block a few times. You know when you, when you get our age, you know a few of the tricks. You do. The young fella's still, still learning. Kennedy, his pass deflected. Worm back to TK. Touches nothing. Blanche Field. So whistle away from the ball. As Hickey hits the deck. That'll be the sixth on Japan. I believe Kennedy whistle on that one. Yeah. Kind of an inadvertent collision there. Still gets gets hit for the with the foul. Well, wasn't voluntarily done, obviously, but with people with bodies dropping. You know, sometimes it, it's wrong place, wrong time. Right. Hickey. Good muscle that one up and in against the worm. That was broke. Blanchfield snags it. Blanchfield. He fires a blank that time, and Hickey will set up shot. Put some spin on it. O'Donnell smashed something, young fella. That looks easy, doesn't it? At that size, it probably is. Hand down, man down. Shout out to Mark Jackson. I borrowed that one. Hickey. Getting tricky with it. Hey. Yasuoka starting to heat up now. He's starting to heat up like them leftovers. That's the problem with Japan. Whatever opponent may be facing them. Whichever. Whichever opponent may be facing them. You just can't take any playoff. Any opportunity for them to take a shot, they'll take him. With the range on that ball, Blanchfield. They want to try it in from close range. O'Donnell, nice move for the big fella. He's crafty, that, he's skilled. And that touch is soft as linens. And he can finish with either hand. 12-10, Saito up top. Wait a minute, whistle. An offensive foul. TV timeout, okay. it was a travel call. Travel call, okay. On Saito. Uh-oh, emoji cam. We got Noah on the emoji cam. Noah <laughs> Lazarus. <laughs> 3x3, the high. Get some well-deserved camera time. Hey, speaking of camera time, are they ever going to show us? They hear us all the time, but nobody. Look, the people at home, they want to see some faces to go with, this, with, the, with the sounds they hear. I think you got to talk to the boss. Right. His name is Lockdown. All right. Well, maybe they'll show us eventually. We got to get on the, on the, the flex cam again. <laughs> You're ready for today, huh? You did some push-ups push last night? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I saw it yesterday, I was embarrassed, so I just pumped it up this morning. Well, I'm wearing a shirt that's closer to the body today. <laughs> Another whistle. It's a 15 foul against Australia. Great contest with 340 and counting. And a game separated by two points. Yasuoka. Not that time. Hickey. Decides to take it himself. Hickey going to Kennedy. Easier said than done. David. They got to shoot it. They do. Blanchfield. Oh, oh stop my it. Goodness. Stop it. That's silliness. 
Wedgefield has got the Midas touch. Late in the shot clock, falling away. Look at this. You can't explain crazy shots like this. Well, you can. He's just towering over his opponent, and he has the sweetest touch. So once you have the shooting form and you master your craft, even if your hips are, are twisted, you can still make sure that you launch it straight. Long two. Too long. Yasuoka saves it. Warren will get it cleared up top with Kennedy. No hesitation. He can put Hickey on his bucket list. Two peaks. Now it's Hickey. He just finishes with the layup that time. Davey over to Hickey. They're going to feature the big man this possession. O'Donnell bumping and banging. Putting the hook up off the window. He's lying. Can you say that again? A little kiss off the glass. Mwah. <laughs> He's kissing the game goodbye right now. O'Donnell propelling along with Blanchfield, Australia, to a potential critical win in pool play against Japan. Still two minutes to play in a four-point game. As you know, we say it all the time and we'll repeat it. One win, one foot in. One, lo one loss, one foot out. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Well, I say it all the time. Yeah, but it's pretty it's accurate, but it's the No, it's, it's true. I like it. It's one of the things I'm going to write down and claim uh, as my own. Oh, it's, it's a gift. You, you had a birthday about a week ago. Lay something, big fella. I did. Yasuoka Ooh. took in the spin class. Blanchfield, the ball fake, runs into traffic. That one poked out. Davey touched it last. What an effort. Davey just. But look at Yasuoka hitting with the hee hee. Mike Jack spin move. Finish it with the left hand. It's 131 left in this game. A 17-13 advantage for the Aussies. A team that owned the longest win streak in Asia Cup history at 24 consecutive games before losing in the gold medal game a year ago. They were en route to potentially what would have been their fourth straight gold. I'm just giving you the history. You have to uh, give props to uh, Mongolia for an amazing finish to upset the Australian favorite. Round comes Yasuoka. Kennedy, it's that time. They'll miss that one. Japan need, need a bucket, not a, necessarily a two. But, but if it's wide not? open, they double dared him, triple dared him. And Yasuoka doesn't hit it. Now it's Hickey's turn. All by himself, hitting two. That man clutched like a six speed. And it's 19 13. And yeah, now Japan just checking out desperation shots. Um, gonna give Hickey another look, but this one looks like it's in the bag for Australia. What a contest there from Hickey. 35 seconds left, six point lead for Australia. Here's Blanchfield, gives it over to Hickey. Why not? Putting the finishing touches on a beautiful, beautiful performance. Team Australia. A well-constructed team, well-coached team. And they might have a star on the rise in Hickey. Is that a technical call on Hickey for flopping? Yeah. I mean... 
to me, he wasn't flopping, but I, I understand what we're doing. So you don't want to encourage guys falling down, but I think it's what I call a, a safety fall because there was some body contact, even though probably Hickey was the initiator of that contact. And uh, you had a great contest by Thomas Kennedy. I would have just made it a no call, but the rules are the rules. And as long as it's enforced the same way on both sides, no problem for me. For the final couple of seconds, we'll tick off or chai at the horn. So Japan will, can only muster 13 points against an Australian team. This is dangerous as a quartet of rattlesnakes. <laughs> the boys from down under represent 20 to 13 in pool C action. We'll turn it over to the ladies next as Thailand and Iran 